The movie opens up with Matthew, a boy from America who has come to Paris to study French. He's a big fan of movies and watches them regularly in theaters. The year is 1968, and at this time, riots were common between the French government and the students. One day, while attending a group of protesters, Matthew meets Isabel, a beautiful girl, who approaches him and starts a conversation. She mentions that she has seen him a couple of times and recognizes him as a boy who walks around alone and does not talk to anyone. As the two talk, Matthew explains that he's new to Paris and doesn't have any friends yet. He is simply trying to get the hang of the place. Hearing this, Isabel introduces him to her twin brother, Theo. The three of them then bond over their shared love of movies and quickly become friends. However, their time together is interrupted by the arrival of the police during a protest, compelling them to flee the scene. As they make their way back home, Matthew, Isabel, and Theo continue talking and getting to know each other better. Matthew is overjoyed because he finally has two friends in this new city. Isabel and Theo are kind enough to share their food with him, which strengthens their bond even more. When Matthew returns to his hotel, he writes a letter to his mother, excitedly telling her about his newfound friends. The following morning, Theo calls Matthew and invites him to dinner at their house. In the evening, Matthew arrives and is amazed by the grandeur and beauty of their home. Isabel warmly welcomes him and introduces him to her mother, who is delighted to meet him. Then, Matthew is introduced to Isabel's father, a renowned French author and poet. During the dinner, Isabel's father gives a speech about literature and poetry. However, Matthew's attention is captured by Isabel's lighter, which he starts playing with. This annoys the father, but Matthew quickly showcases his cleverness. He points out how the tablecloth matches perfectly with the lighter and the other items in the room highlighting the symmetry of their surroundings. Impressed by his observation, Isabel's father finds him incredibly interesting. He mentions that he wants Theo to be like Matthew. Unfortunately, this creates tension between the two, as Theo is involved in politics, supports rallies, and protests for freedom, while his father prefers peace. Thankfully, Theo's mother steps in to handle the situation and calm things down. After dinner, the parents leave the house, handing over a check for the twins. They usually stay outside of the house for work, and leave the apartment for the siblings. Later, Matthew also prepares to leave, but to his surprise, Theo and Isabel ask him to stay at their house for the night. Matthew reluctantly agrees to it, and Theo takes him around his room. At midnight, Matthew goes to the bathroom, and on his way back, decides to peek into Isabel's bedroom. To his shock, he notices the siblings sleeping together on a bed without their clothes on. This creeps him out, so he quickly runs back to his room. The next morning, the siblings wake up, and Isabel goes to Matthew's room. The latter feels embarrassed seeing her, considering what he witnessed earlier. However, Isabel distracts him by suggesting he get up from bed early. She starts pulling his blanket and also kisses him on his eyes. Matthew asks her to stop doing this, but Isabel replies that she does the same with Theo, making him feel more weird. Afterward, as Matthew is brushing his teeth, Isabel playfully touches his lips, showing a fondness for the color red. She even tries to apply lipstick on him, but Matthew feels uneasy and hurriedly walks out of the bathroom. Meanwhile, Theo undresses in front of everyone to take a bath, which makes Matthew feel extremely awkward. Theo explains that their parents will be away for a month, so he encourages Matthew to stay with them to get to know each other better. Matthew expresses concern since they've only known each other for two days. However, Theo assures him that it's a chance for them to develop a deeper connection and know each other better. Matthew then asks Isabel if she is okay with it, and to his surprise, she replies that it is actually her idea to approach him. With this affirmation, he agrees to stay with them. In the next scene while discussing movies, an argument arises between Matthew and Theo about Charlie Chaplin. Isabel steps in and calms them down by suggesting they play a game they often enjoy. In this game, they act out scenes from old movies, and the person in front has to guess the name of the movie. The one who can't guess has to take on a dare. Everyone agrees, and Isabel performs a scene from a very old movie. In issue, Matthew feels difficulty in guessing it, but after a bit of thinking, he names the movie correctly. This leaves both Isabel and Theo very impressed, expressing how they've been looking for a friend like him for a long time. At last, they share a fantasy of executing a scene from an old movie in real life. The fantasy involves the three friends racing in an art gallery during operating hours. Initially, Matthew hesitates due to the risk of getting caught by the guards and being deported back to America. However, he eventually agrees, and all three of them race to the said location. To their luck, they manage to avoid being caught. This act makes their friendship even deeper. On their way home, it starts raining, and the trio gets drenched. Afterward, when they reach the apartment, 
Theo offers Matthew some clothes to change into and starts undressing in front of him. While Matthew feels awkward and waits, he notices some photographs in Theo's cupboard. He secretly takes one of Isabel's photos and hides it inside his own underwear. Next, the trio starts playing the previous game, and Isabel acts out a scene from a movie. Unfortunately, Theo can't guess the name, and she dares him to perform self-pleasure in front of everyone. Surprisingly, Theo accepts the dare without protesting, leaving Matthew confused and concerned. Later that day, the boys go out to a cafe and have a conversation. Here, Matthew opens up about his two elder sisters and explains that they have never asked him to do such awkward things as Theo does with his sister. He expresses his confusion about witnessing Theo and Isabel sleeping together naked, questioning the nature of their relationship. In response, Theo explains that, as twins, they share a deep connection both physically and mentally. They cannot live without each other and think of themselves as one. In the evening, the three again resume their guessing game, and this time, Theo is performing. He acts out a scene, but neither Matthew nor Isabel can guess the name of the movie. As a result, Theo dares both of them to get intimate in front of him. Matthew is shocked to hear this, and he tries to hide in the other room, but Theo follows him and brings him back. Surprisingly, Isabel agrees and starts undressing in front of both boys. Although Matthew initially refuses, he eventually gives in under Isabel's insistence. Following this, Theo gets hold of Matthew and Isabel begins removing his pants, only to find her photo hidden inside his underwear. But instead of feeling awkward, this leads to laughter among the siblings. Afterward, Matthew and Isabel get intimate in front of Theo. The latter takes a closer look at them and begins cooking food. At this point, Matthew gets to know that Isabel is still a virgin, indicating that Theo and Isabel's relationship mainly revolves around sleeping together and sharing a deep connection. In the following scene, a curious Matthew asks Isabel about what she would do if their parents found out about their relationship. Isabel firmly states that such a situation will never occur, and if it does by chance, she will choose to end herself. She mentions that they fear societal judgment and mockery, as it goes against accepted norms for siblings to be romantically involved. Both Isabel and Theo deeply love their parents and want to protect them from any distress caused by their unconventional relationship. After this, Matthew feels hungry and goes to the kitchen to get something to eat. Surprisingly, when he returns, he notices Theo sleeping with his sister. Matthew calls Theo, and the latter clarifies that he and Isabel are inseparable and that Matthew is simply a good friend. Their bond is unique, and there won't be any romantic involvement between him and the twins. They will always remain friends. As time passes, the siblings' money runs out leaving them with literally no food to eat. Isabel tries to cook with whatever is left at home, but it turns out to be burnt and inedible. Theo then retrieves something from the garbage, and they all share a single banana as their meal. To compensate for their expenses, they take odd jobs to sustain their expenses. One day, Matthew and Theo are in the bathtub together, discussing the American soldiers battling in Vietnam. A debate ensues between them, and Theo strongly condemns all Americans, blaming them for the atrocities committed in Vietnam. In response, Matthew explains that their government forces them to participate in the war, and refusal can lead to imprisonment. Matthew personally believes in non-violent protest as a means to bring about change. Their conversation is eventually interrupted when Isabel arrives at the scene. She asks Matthew if he loves them both and asks for proof. She also grabs a razor and tries to clean his genital hair. However, Matthew becomes angry and refuses to comply with their request. He expresses his frustration, stating that both of them may have physically matured but still possess a childlike mentality. Their actions, such as sleeping and bathing together, resemble innocent games that children engage in. Matthew questions whether Isabel has ever been on a date with another boy, to which she admits that she has never gone out with anyone other than him and Theo. Matthew then invites Isabel on a date. Without Theo accompanying her, she reluctantly accepts it, and later, they go out for dinner and watch a late-night movie together. In the theater, the two seem very happy and kiss each other. After their enjoyable evening, Isabel and Matthew return home to find Theo getting intimate with another girl in his room. Feeling jealous, Isabel asks Matthew to leave her room and then starts banging on Theo's door. The next day, the boys engage in an argument about revolution. Theo emphasizes the importance of taking action instead of just talking, urging Matthew to participate in protests and demonstrations. Right then, Isabel intervenes and takes them to the drawing room, where they reminisce about their childhood days of building tents and sleeping inside them. In a nostalgic moment, all three of them sleep inside the makeshift tent, 
undressed. The following morning, the parents return home and notice their children sleeping with no clothes on. They feel awkward, but do not wake them up. The parents just leave a check on the table for the trio and walk out. Later in the evening, Isabel wakes up and finds the check on the table. She then realizes that her parents had come while they were asleep and knew about their unconventional relationship. Overwhelmed by the thought of facing her parents after the revelation, Isabel thinks of ending herself. She leaks gas into the tent, but before things can escalate, a stone thrown during the ongoing revolution breaks a window, alerting Matthew to the smell of gas. Isabel quickly draws the pipes and lies about the gas leak. Soon, they also join the revolution taking place outside. As the revolution intensifies, Matthew finds Theo participating by throwing stones at the police. Some individuals within the crowd plan to use petrol bombs, and Theo joins them. Despite Matthew's efforts to dissuade the siblings from doing so, he fails to stop them. But Matthew, unable to take part in such violence, walks away from the scene. In the last scene, after Theo throws the petrol bomb in front of the officers, the police respond forcefully, using batons to disperse the crowd. The movie abruptly ends with the crowd running away and the police chasing them.